What is up guys, Adam here from Nug, and we're back on the Canon Realm on Psycho. Today we're with Tots and Anand and Shim, even though I don't actually know where Shim is. Oh, he's here. Alright, uh, yeah, and today we're going to be discussing the topic of uh, hopper fishing grinders. Since with the new map, uh, the hoppers have become very expensive, at least for the beginning of the map. Afterwards, uh, it's pretty easy to get them, but right, like in the beginning, people should know how to do these kinds of farms, like these kinds of grinders. So we're gonna go through four designs that uh, we think are like the most important ones to show you guys. First things first comes basic, uh, the very basic grinder with uh, cobble walls. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, which is here, like you see this design where you have like every other block, you would have it like this. And like then, a yeah, like a checkerboard like this. And this grinder can be used for any kind of mob, so you can use a mob that is one block big, so like zombie, skeleton, everything, like pretty much everything can be used on this one, but you lose a, a fair bit actually of mob loot. It's not insane, but like just uh, noted that you're not going to get 100%. Uh, however, with this design, you basically just start using hoppers where the items need to go into the chests. So it's very, very efficient when it comes to that. Uh, the second grinder would be here with uh, iron bars. Uh, this one is just, it's more efficient when it comes to drops, but obviously it can only be used for spiders or like basically bigger mobs. So you could use it for cave spiders and spiders. Since like here you can, you as a, like, if I were to be a zombie, you could just fall in here and not die. Uh, as a spider, you would die here because like the mob is bigger. Uh, these ones, are rarely used unless you really are focusing on spider grinders, which we actually did. I think we, yeah. And then, do we have like, do we have like a massive spider grinder still? Yeah, but we're using the other design now. Yeah, so we're so we're using this one. Bonus, right? Yeah, but as again, like as this one as well, uh, you basically just start using the hoppers. If I show it outside, where with the water flow, like all the items go until here, and then you just start using the hoppers once the items need to go into the chests. Same things. Same thing is basically with this fence uh, design. It's the same as the cobble one down there. Uh, the only, I, don't, I wouldn't really recommend using this. If you're already going through the trouble of doing it, I would go with the cobble one. Since this one has the same disadvantage as the iron one has, where you only can use it for spiders since you have like the gaps here where you, which a mob could use to fall through and not die. Um, but again, we just wanted to show you that this is also possible, also only used for spiders and cave spiders. And then we come to the uh, last one, which would be like after you had the cobble one for a long time and you've already got your money, but you don't have enough for an entire hopper floor, you can do this where you have a hopper then like ice, hopper, ice, hopper, ice, like you would have these strips. Um, how much, actually, how much uh, droplets do we have on this one and and? Uh, it's pretty much 100% efficiency. Okay, yeah, so... As long as you use ice. Yeah. Yeah, you, uh, yeah so it is required to use ice. You obviously, packed ice, otherwise it's going to melt if you have a uh, light source next to it. But, um, yeah, this one is very, very efficient. And as you see, you basically half the amount of hoppers you need for the farm. But, obviously, compared to the other ones, this is seriously expensive to do. So, only use it later in the map. And then we really didn't need to build it, but it's very obvious what would happen after this one. Uh, you'd go to full on hopper floor, like you've seen on every single, pretty much every single grinder in the last few maps since uh, the hoppers were really cheap until then. Uh, but yeah, these are basically the four designs. So in my, I'm just gonna give my honest opinion. These two, really, not no reason to use it unless you're going for only spider grind, which I wouldn't recommend. Uh, so I would go from this uh, cobble one here, which is pretty efficient and very very hopper uh, Hopper friendly uh, down to this one here Which uh, halves the amount of hoppers you need for hopper floor and then from this one You would go to full hopper floor and that's pretty much it uh, So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this is actually it. Shim. Do you think you would add anything to this? Uh, if you want to you could add a full layer of minecart rails and have a uh 
uh, hopper chest going back and forth and back and forth picking up all your items but besides that that covers most of it yeah true so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this pretty short video on grinders and i hope you guys start using these kinds of grinders because they use less hoppers so you're gonna be richer in the end i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did put a uh, slap a like and see you in the next one peace